Hey guys, today I'm going to update this 2012 MacBook Pro. This is a mid-2010 13-inch MacBook Pro. It's the A1278 model. The model identifier from the system report is MacBook Pro 7.1. It has a 2.4 gigahertz Intel Core 2 Duo processor and 4 gigabytes of RAM. Now, if you saw my previous video, it had a problem with the battery. The battery swelled, so I had to take it apart and take out the battery and then dispose of it properly. I actually brought it back to the Apple store and they just recycled it. And if you haven't checked out that other video, uh, definitely I'll, I'll put a link to it in the top corner there. You can check that out. Now, today what I wanna do is fix it. I wanna replace the battery. I have a new battery here to put in. And then a couple other things I'm gonna do. I'm gonna replace the SSD that's in this computer. I put a new SSD in this computer and I wanna replace it with this one that I pulled out of a, a dead PC. This is a 256 gigabyte uh, SSD. So uh, I'll put that one in. I also have some new feet for the bottom of the computer. It was missing one of the feet. I have some additional screws. Now, I lost one of the uh, case screws when uh, I took this apart. So I have all the original case screws except one. So I just decided to buy a new set of case screws on eBay. I got the feet, the case screws, and then these hard drive screws for mounting the hard drive. All this came to less than $7. It was like $6 and change. And I think I was able to get it all from the same seller on eBay. So if you need some spare MacBook parts, Definitely check out eBay. You can find some pretty good deals there. Let's take a look at this battery. I picked up this battery on Amazon. It's a A1332 replacement battery. It's a 71 watt high capacity battery. It's new. It's from a company called ZTHY. Picked it up on Amazon. It was about $40. I thought that was a pretty reasonable price. Now, I originally had looked at batteries from NewTek and uh, from iFixit. And those are the two companies that specialize in MacBook parts, replacement parts. And those batteries, I think, were $90 and $100. I decided that was a little bit too much. I didn't want to spend $90 or $100 on a replacement battery. Decided I'd try this one off of Amazon. Now, let me get it out of the box. So here's the replacement battery. This should just drop in and then uh, screw down into the computer. And look at this, they even included replacement screwdrivers. I guess one's a screwdriver and one's a torque driver here. Not sure. Let me get the battery out of this tray. Got this plastic stuff on it. All right, got all the plastic out of, off the battery. Put that packaging to the side. Now this plastic tab, this is I think is for helping you to pull the battery out when you want to change it. So uh, you don't take this off, you leave that tag there in place. All right, I'm gonna just put that to the side. Let's flip the MacBook over. I just have a piece of tape here holding the back cover in place because it has no screws. And then I'll lift the back cover off. Now before I do, I wanted to show you, here's the missing foot. So, so I need to put one of those replacement feet on there. Maybe I'll just change them all since I have a pack of four and then they'll all be brand new. And you can see there's no tabs or anything uh, holding this in place. It's kind of dirty in there. I think maybe I'll clean the back cover too. All right, now you'll see here, this is where I removed the battery. The battery had swelled so much, it actually cracked off the uh, plastic tab that the battery screws into the case with. So the screw's still there, I need to take that out. And then you'll see here, this is a brand new SSD that I had put in this computer. And I'm, I'm going to take this out as well. I'm going to put it in the SSD that I pulled out of a, a PC that no longer worked. And then I can use this drive for something else. I don't have to use a, a, a new drive in this computer. When I had taken this apart and put this drive in, the mounting hardware was missing. So I just used gaffer tape to hold this in place. And it worked pretty well. So I think this was a 250 gigabyte drive. And I'm going to replace it with this... 256 gigabyte SSD. This is a, um, I guess a SATA 3 drive at six gigabits per second. I don't know what the manufacturer is. Pulled it out of an old uh, Lenovo that was broken. 
also have this spacer. You would use the spacer to make the drive larger. I may use that because this is a very, very slim drive. So I think I am going to use that. I'm going to attach that on the back here. Now, I think I need to remove these uh, two plastic bars to put the, the drive in place. I got these four mounting screws. I'm going to put them on the drive. These are uh, torque. These are torque. I think it's a T5. This is a T5 driver. So I'm just going to get these four screws on here. All right, I got all the screws on here now. So I think I need to take these two bars off here. It's been a while since I've replaced a drive in one of these computers. Okay, just gonna lift that up, put that there. Yeah, you can see the screws fit in this uh, orange area here. All right, now I'm gonna put the drive in the computer. Uh, I have the bracket out here on one side. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fit the mounting screws into the holes on these sides and then just drop it into place over there. Now, before I do that, I need to attach the SATA cable. So I'm going to do that right now. And then, so now this drive is mounted on this side. Now I should be able to put this bracket back in place. I think the spacer is a little bit too big. So I'm gonna try it without the spacer. That out of place. So that definitely snaps down in there. I should have tried it before putting the spacer in. This should fit back in here. All right, you just gotta orient that the right way and then All right, got the replacement drive in. Now, because this drive is blank, I erased it before I put it in the computer. I'll have to reinstall High Sierra on this when I'm done. All right, next up, I need to put in the battery. Now, before I need to put in the battery, I need to take out that screw there and that broken plastic tab. And that has what they call, I think it's a tri-wing. All right, there's the screw that came out, so I'll keep that there. Get rid of that little piece of plastic. There's another tab screw for the battery right there. And let's get that out. Forgot about that one. Yeah, okay, so there we go. That's a much better fit. This lugs down here like that. I'm going to take the long screw first, put the long screw back in, and then the short screw. All right, now the battery's in place. Let me just see if the cover fits on with the new battery, like this. I don't know if this battery ships with any power in it. All right, so it does start up. All right, now before I continue, I am going to change the feet on here. Got the old ones off. Gonna try and clean these areas up a little bit. Just with a Q-tip and some rubbing alcohol. This bottom one's really the only one that's dirty, but. I think these just snap in. They're sticky on the bottom, so. Yep, they just press in. They have an adhesive on the bottom. You don't have to peel anything off.
All right, got four new feet on there. Now this cover would go on here like this. And just get that stuff out of the way. Now here's the screw kit. There's three long screws. And I had to buy this screw kit because I lost one screw. So I figured, well, just spend $2 and buy an entire new screw kit and next time be more careful. So if I remember correctly, it's the three long screws up here and then the shorter screws everywhere else. Hope that's the case. All right, you see, you really can't get this wrong because if you try and put the, the long screw in one of the holes where it doesn't fit, it's not gonna go down. So that goes like that. All right, now these three screws in the bottom, they, they go into the battery. They screw through the case and into the bottom of the battery. What I usually do is I like to rub my uh, finger across the top and see if the screw is sitting flush. And if it's not, then there, there's some kind of problem there with how that's lined up. So I'm gonna pop that out. All right, well, that's it. Uh, it's complete. The case is back together. Now, all I need to do is, I guess, go charge this and reinstall the OS. Going to install High Sierra on this, and then this MacBook will be, and then this MacBook 2012 will be back in service. All right, that's going to be it for this video, and I will talk to you next time.